Hey everybody, I was asked to make a quick video about my project uh, that I've been working on, XGUI. So here it is. Um, the plugin is really a what you see is what you get editor for the immediate mode GUI system. Uh, typically used to create editor windows and custom inspectors. I really dislike writing user interfaces in the immediate mode GUI system. It drives me insane. It's tedious. It's a pain. It's it's not really intuitive. Um, and anytime you have to go anywhere near it or do anything with it, it's just a complete black hole of your time. Especially if you're like me and you like things to look just right. Um, you're going to spend forever making a small tweak in the code, going back into the editor, refreshing the code, looking at the change. Okay, no, that's not right. Go back, rinse, repeat for the next hour, two hours, entire day on just minor little things even to look right. And it's just a horrible, horrible waste of time. But everyone just kind of deals with it because it is what it is and it's a necessary evil. But I decided I couldn't take it anymore, um, so I decided to create XGUI. Uh, so let's get into the editor here um, without wasting too much more time. Um, I apologize, my screen capture software won't pick up undocked windows on this isn't docked and it's, it's not just this thing floating here in the middle like this. But it is what it is. So you can see the different types of GUIs that can be created right here. There's the editor window, the inspector, the editor scene view GUI, and the mono behavior GUI. We're just going to click on an editor window real quick. And I'm just going to kind of zoom through this here. This part's not really key, and this is about my 700th time trying to record this. So we're just going to go here with test window blah 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 it's a lot okay that's that's how many times i've actually tried this i'm just selecting the gui layouts folder here down here um, and you can set a base skin uh, we're going to create a new one off of the light skin that's available you can set a background color background texture menu link um, whether or not a single or multiple instances of the window can be created and the default style of how it's shown as well as the minimum and maximum size the window um, can be. But we're not doing any of that. We're just going to go right into making something. Um, all right, now that we have our uh, layout created, we're in the actual editor. You have your layout settings window, the hierarchy window, which displays all of the UI elements that we've added, our toolbar window, our preview window, and our element inspector window. Um, so we'll jump right into creating something here. Let's go so a horizontal layout, a label and another label and let's uh let's put an image inside of this guy here i really don't have anything special almost drag that one away um so as you can see everything is just kind of popping up here as we do it let's give this a fancy look um this is where you set your style for now um it's actually going to be a drop down that pops up with all the styles in the current GUI skin that was created for this editor. I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, so we made this one look like a help box. Uh, let's give it a background color. Uh, some bluish maybe, huh? You know, while we're at it, let's, uh, let's show you guys this over here. You can set the color for the window. Um, to be a custom color as well or if you want you can actually do a uh, background image I already have one in there that's uh, being tiled across it so now let's go ahead um, that blue's not quite right let's find let's find what we want something like that looks good for now um, don't want to waste too much time on it so let's create another horizontal layout um, to also make it look like a help box. And uh, inside of here, let's put a vertical layout and another vertical layout. Um, make these both look like help boxes as well. Uh, and let's add a couple buttons in here. And inside of here, let's add, um, we'll just add one of all of these. Uh, all right. So as you can see, everything's popping up. And you got all your different types of fields in there and everything. 
Um, go to the buttons to make this one look like a toolbar button. And we'll make them all look like toolbar buttons real quick. annoying little unity bug I gotta fix when you switch between fields with the same name you gotta deselect it and then reselect something else there we go so now they're all toolbar buttons um, let's give them some text There we go. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to design things, um, especially when you can drag and drop your different elements around up here. So like I can go and drag this inside of here, or I can say, no, 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 hold on. Why don't we go and put that up here? Um, this would have taken me forever to do those little changes in the code. Go in there, tweak, 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 refresh, tweak, refresh. Um, things like that would have just driven me nuts. Uh, a few other little things I just wanted to show you guys here real quick. Here's the icon viewer. Um, this shows you the built-in icons that come in Unity. Uh, you can search the icons so we can find the foldouts or so the clothes, um, anything that has win in the name. Um, and then if you hover over it, it shows you the name that you have to use in the code to display this icon. Uh, it comes in handy especially when you're trying to use built-in icons inside of your GUI. I do have plans for you to be able to import these icons directly into your styles but it's not there yet so we'll see about that. Um, what else? There's also, oh yeah, the built-in uh, the, the skin inspector uh, there's a redesigned skin inspector makes it a little bit easier go through edit the skins you can import skins from your editor styles and other places you can import skins from other skins stuff like that so it really makes it a lot easier to manage your your GUI skins for your interfaces as well uh, I think that's pretty much everything I want to go over right now um, hope you all like it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and hope you all have a good day.